Welcome back. Students experiencing homelessness will be getting some school supplies for the return to classes. Ed Linderman is at Olivewood Elementary School in National City giving us a look at the Stuff the Bus event that's going on there. Good morning, Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, Lauren, and I know you didn't know this, but we have uh, we are not uh, at that particular elementary school. We're actually at the San Diego County uh, Office of Education's Innovation Center here in Linda Vista. And uh, that's sort of central for and, and when we say students are getting the reason they're getting it is because of you, the public. They want to raise one hundred thousand dollars. Look, at I, I, I'm always knocked out when I see this figure. Twenty one thousand plus students experiencing homelessness in San Diego County. That includes all of our school districts. So stuff the bus has been around for 10 years. They used to have a real bus. Now it's a metaphorical bus for obvious reasons. So you can donate. We want to talk about partnerships because we'll be talking to somebody who knows where of he speaks any moment here but the san diego county credit union sdccu as well as jersey mikes so these are monetary donations you can go to sdccu.com and uh slash donate so sdccu slash donate or jersey mikes any outlet of jersey mikes or any sdccu uh, branch, you can donate. We need $100,000 for the materials that our friend David Barker Baker is holding. David, as I said, knows wherever he speaks. So he, we obviously have your typical school supplies here. David was homeless as a teenager uh, on into adulthood, and here he is living in his car, going to classes at San Diego uh, City College. We can tell you he's a smart guy because he's now pursuing a master's. Congratulations. Thank you so much. He's now pursuing a master's at the University of San Diego. So if somebody had cared as much about you when you were 16 years of age and absolutely penniless, he was living in his car trying to get an education. But early on, when he's a teenager, this means a great deal. I mean, these kids have to understand sort of where some of this money is coming from. And no, I just need supplies. And my parents couldn't possibly afford it if I'm with them. Yeah, that's right. These are the tools that our children are using to learn and grow. And that development is invaluable. So this is an opportunity for the community to come on in, invest in the future, super low barrier, pop into a Jersey Mike's, pop into a branch, get it done. Okay. He's also a pretty good public speaker. So tell me about what this would have meant it, it, back in the day. That's right. I mean, I can't tell you how it feels to be unprepared. So what this does it's is embarrassing. Oh, it's embarrassing. I mean, you know, and you're looking at the other kids and their clothes, let alone school supplies. I mean, at least they've got a they've got some kind of gear on, right. but no I don't have any money for school supplies and it it you talk about getting low self-esteem very early on. It's tragic. It's tragic. And what's so interesting is that these children are coming from backgrounds where there's not a lack of love. It's truly a lack of resource. And so when we give them this, it's it's a little bit of uh, bridging that gap between that resource and the love that every child deserves. Absolutely. And and I really that's the psyche, the idea of the psyche of of I don't even have a notebook. And, and I mean, that really is. And it's not a lack of love. It's not a lack. It's a lack of resources. So we want to continue that. We're not asking you to buy anything. We are asking for monetary donations. They've raised one hundred thousand dollars over the course of the last decade. They need another hundred thousand this is till the end of the month so jersey mikes sdccu.com slash donate or any sdccu branch or jersey mikes please do not come to the county office of education but uh it and and do we know where we are in, in at this time because we've we've been doing this now for a while and again it's the it ends in july because yeah. school's about to start that's and right. for many kids yes so we're just getting things started um i'd say we got last a couple of weeks go. yeah we've got a long Long way to go. We're trying to reach our goal of a hundred thousand dollars, and we need every single person to show out until the end of July. Um, we also would love to see a surplus, right? The more youth that we can serve, we just learned there's 21,000 young people experiencing homelessness right now uh, in our schools. And so the more people we can have to support that, the more they'll be supported. Yeah, because that 21,000, okay, what about the plus part? So how many more are there really? This is what we've been able to count. And again, the, just the, the, the lack of self-esteem for these kids. Well, maybe I've got a shirt and some old shoes on, but I don't have any school supplies. That's right. And I'm looking around here and, hey, let's get a positive attitude because if we'd have had somebody helping you as much as this, you know, maybe we'd have gotten out of homelessness sooner. But honest to gosh, 
congratulations. Oh, thank you and so much. And what you've done for yourself. Oh, I appreciate that. It's something that every child deserves, right? An opportunity to thrive and reach their fullest potential. Right. That's what we're trying to do here. Well, I am going to plagiarize and steal that line. It's not a lack of love. It's a lack of resources. That's right. Spot on. All right. And we appreciate you coming out to spread the message, and everybody's welcome to participate. All right. David Baker. Living in his car, San Diego City College, uh, somebody took an interest, he got into a transitional program, and he's now looking for a master's at the University of San Diego. But, oh, by the way, in the meantime, he's also the uh, Youth Systems Director for the YMCA. You are to be congratulated. Oh, thank you so much for that. It's, it's a community effort. We like to say it takes a village at the YMCA, and it surely does. All right, there he is. We're going to, his uh, secondary major is going to be public speaking. We're back to you guys.